What's up everyone? In this video, we have some giant news to cover from the market today. The market exploded to the upside. Apple is on its best daily winning streak in almost 20 years. Apple stock finished up around 2% today and it is exploding. We have other growth stocks just booming to the upside like DraftKings, Zoom, Palantir, and so many other stocks. We have a lot of great setups to watch for tomorrow in today's video, so make sure to stick with me to the end. We have a lot of big news to cover. And the first news that we're gonna talk about is Apple. The price action that we're seeing on Apple is extremely, extremely rare, and it's just crazy. We can see Apple had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 green days in a row. It's up almost 20% over the course of a couple weeks and it is just exploding to the upside. I actually have a news article right here that from CNBC, it says Apple shares are on pace for its best daily winning streak since 2003. So this is like the best daily winning streak in almost 20 years. It's just crazy to see and it's it's mind blowing, you know? Like we almost never see events like this and it, it really is a crazy event. Um, looking at Apple stock more specifically, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that almost every single time Apple moves like this, it pulls back. Like we can see back in November and December of 2021, it popped around 20% in a couple weeks, pulled back significantly. We can also see like here, if we go to Jan yeah, like early January or no, late January of 2022, it popped 11%, pulled back significantly. We can go back to June of 2021, it popped up around 19%, pulled back a decent amount. So my opinion on Apple is this. You should not be asking yourself whether or not Apple stock will go up tomorrow. You should be asking yourself, is it worth the risk playing Apple to the upside tomorrow? Because yeah, sure, Apple can go up tomorrow. I mean, it, it's been going up for 11 days straight, but is it worth the risk playing Apple to the upside right now, given the information we just talked about, about basically every time it has done this setup in the past, it pulled back in a pretty significant way. So for me, it's definitely not worth the risk playing Apple to the upside, but for you, it might be. And if that's the case for you, I will give you some resistance levels to watch out for. Uh, we can see there was a lot of resistance right around 179 towards the end of the day. And 180 is like the next major resistance level. Um, so 180 is gonna be giant. After 180, we have a tiny bit of resistance right around like $182.50. And after that, we just have the all-time high around $183.38. Besides that, Apple's free and clear. But again, is it worth the risk playing Apple to the upside right now? For me, it's not, but maybe for, maybe for you it is. You know, everyone has their own um, unique risk tolerances. So that's big news. Apple is going crazy. On another note, we had Robinhood with some pretty big news today. Robinhood stock is up 24% today, which is pretty significant. Also, Robinhood had over 100 million shares traded today, or 100 million shares volume today. To put that into perspective, Robinhood normally has like 10 to 15 million shares traded. So this is definitely a significant boost. Robinhood exploded to the upside. Basically, they had some pretty good news on how they are adding four additional hours to their extended trading for their users, which is pretty big. So basically in the past, Robinhood offered um, their users to trade 30 minutes before open and then two hours after close for extended hours trading. Now they're extending that time zone. So basically you can trade stocks on Robinhood from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time, which is it's pretty good. You know, I'll, I'll admit it's a nice feature to have and um, it, it's good news. Like it, it really is good news for Robinhood as a company, but also Robinhood stock. And I think it's a, a great um, feature for Robinhood's clients. So I am happy to see Robinhood adding this feature. 
Um, I think it will benefit a lot of people. Looking at Robinhood stock, like I said, they're up 24%. There is some resistance right around $16.50. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see Robinhood stock has been on a significant downtrend, but then again, a lot of other stocks have been too. Um, in terms of resistance, definitely watch out for $18 on Robinhood. That will be a pretty important level as the stock bounced off of that level quite a few times in the past. But either way, Robinhood has good news, good volume, and good price action. So that's good to see. Um, on a different note, the market also had an amazing day today. The S&P 500 finished up around 1.25%. The NASDAQ finished up around 1.7%. So it was a pretty good day. We did have some pretty good news related to the Russia-Ukraine situation, but uh, I'll read it out right now. So Russia claimed it would reduce its attacks on Ukraine as delegates from the two countries met for their latest face-to-face -face peace talks in Istanbul. In Istanbul. Uh, Moscow said it would cut back its military activity near Ukraine's capital of Kiev and the northern city of Chernihiv, uh, though Russia has not followed through on similar pledges in the past. So it's decent news, you know, like it, it's, it's, it's good, but it's not like amazing news. So that is nice to see. The market liked it. A lot of stocks are booming to the upside. So that's good to see. Um, but again, it's, it's nothing to really celebrate over just yet. Also for earnings for the rest of the week, uh, we have some pretty big stocks reporting earnings today after close. So Micron, SNDL, Lululemon, and Chewy are the top ones. And then for the rest of the week, you know, we have BioNTech uh, before open tomorrow, which is pretty decent. Besides that, the next, like, I don't know, the next, like, uh, most important earnings report for this week, in my opinion, besides all the ones that are already reported, are Astra. ASTR is their stock ticker. It's a pretty hyped up space company. Um, they're very volatile. They, they, they go all over the place. So keep an eye on them if you want. Um, also, for the rest of the week, um, in terms of the schedule, we do have a pretty important day on Thursday and Friday. Thursday, we have the PCE data, which will be important. And then on Friday, we have the unemployment rate. So those are like the next two main catalysts for the rest of the week. Um, besides that, it's just a lot of stocks booming to the upside and a lot of great price action. Looking more at the S&P 500, like I said, it's also on a great uptrend. In terms of the most important levels to watch, definitely keep an eye on 462 and 457.50. So 457.50 is a pretty big support level, while 462 is the most important resistance level to watch for tomorrow. Uh, like I said, a lot of stocks are moving in some pretty big ways. Um, of course, Apple and the S&P 500 have a lot of um, volatility right now as some of the larger tech stocks are booming up. But we're also seeing some amazing price action out of some of these growth stocks like DraftKings, which popped up 11% today, which is amazing to see. Some of these growth stocks are finally popping back up. We have DraftKings moving up. Robinhood, Palantir's up around 6% today. AI popped for around 8% today. Zoom was also pretty good too, which popped for around 8%. So these growth stocks are looking pretty dang good. And I definitely love to see this price action, especially out of stocks like DraftKings. And then we also have more news with these marijuana stocks like Tilray. Uh, basically, let me pull up the article. We can see that the house is set to vote on a marijuana bill. Um, originally, they were supposed to vote on this bill on Monday, but it got pushed back for Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Uh, so basically, we can see the legalization of marijuana is in a delicate place. While most states have legalized it for recreational or medical purposes, it is still illegal at the federal level. But that could soon change. So basically, the House is expected to pass a bill that would decriminalize marijuana use on a federal level. Um, while this is good news for the marijuana industry and marijuana stocks, um, the bill would still have to be passed by the Senate in order for it to make any significant differences. So while this bill with the House is is good, like I said, like it's it's nothing to celebrate over just yet. So marijuana stocks to watch are Tilray and SNDL and even CGC. Those are like some of the main ones, but if I'm being honest, Tilray and SNDL are like the top two that uh, normally move the best and normally have the uh, most hype behind them. I'm personally in Tilray for a small position and it's been doing pretty well, but these marijuana plays are definitely extremely risky and extremely volatile. 
If we go back on Tilray's max weekly chart, we could see back in like 2018, Tilray went from like $22 all the way up to $300 over the course of a couple weeks. But then again, like if we exclude that run up, Tilray just fell like very consistently in a pretty big, in a pretty significant manner too. So they're volatile. Keep them on your radar though, because uh, the news is definitely big with any bills that will be passed or anything like that. And then another interesting news article we that I saw today is that OnlyFans is looking for that for a SPAC deal. So basically, OnlyFans is looking to go public. If you don't know what OnlyFans is, I'll, uh, I'll let you Google that one by yourself. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting news. Um, I don't even know what to say about this one. Like I said, it's just in like a very early stage too. But if we, we might see an OnlyFans SPAC deal sometime soon. So I thought that was interesting. So um, <laughs> keep that in mind. But besides that, guys, the market is moving up in a pretty significant way. A lot of stocks are looking great. Um, my opinion on this overall market, I still think a lot of growth stocks are at amazing levels. I feel that some of these big tech stocks are a little bit overbought. You know, if we look at Apple as an example, sure, it can rise tomorrow. Apple can rise for 50, 50 days consecutively, but what are the odds of that happening? Like the movement we're seeing with Apple right now is the craziest movement we've seen in almost 20 years. So especially in terms of like consecutive green days to the upside. So I still think some of these big tech stocks are just a little bit overbought right now and they're not worth the risk, at least for me. But the growth stocks are looking great in my opinion. Zoom, DraftKings, Palantir, AI, stocks like that. Square's not looking too bad either. You know, if we look at Zoom, for example, you know, Zoom fell from $406 all the way down to 95 and it just went from 95 up to like 126 which is a nice pop back up, but like it still has a lot more growth potential and a lot more room to the upside where if we look at some of these other, you know, more established companies, they're almost already back to the their highs. Like Apple is almost at its all-time high, which is crazy to even say. So keep that in mind. Um, on another note, uh, I want to get into the momentum plays for tomorrow. And with the first one, we have SPCE to the upside. This stock is running in a pretty significant way. It's up around 13% today. And uh, it did have a pretty strong resistance level right around $11.25. So keep $11.25 um, on your radar for tomorrow. If it breaks above that level, it can be a good day trade to the upside. With the next one, we have DraftKings. Uh, the main resistance I'm watching with this one is 21. If it breaks above 21, it can be a decent day trade to the upside tomorrow. And then with the last one, we have Penn, P-E-N-N. -E -N. Uh, if this one breaks $45.05, it's pretty decent for a day trade to the upside tomorrow. So those are like the three stocks I'm watching for potential day trades to the upside tomorrow. They have some pretty good price action, and uh, as long as they break those resistances, they should set up pretty well. Um, before we move on to the rest of the video, I want to give a giant shout out to our member of the day. I am Mike Doe. So huge shout out. I am Mike. Thanks for being a great member of the Stocked Up Discord. And thanks for all of your comments on the Stocked Up Live YouTube channel. And then if you guys aren't in the Stocked Up Discord chat already, uh, consider joining. It's completely free. It's going to be that first link in the description and the comments down below. Like I said, it's completely free. We have a bunch of amazing people in this chat. Uh, you can network with other people. You can ask about you know, trade setups. You can chat with Tom and myself a lot of times. So consider joining. It's free. You have nothing to lose and it's free. The first link will be in the description. It will be the first link in the description and the comments down below. Besides that, guys, stocks are looking pretty good. There's a lot of great momentum, which is awesome to see. Uh, it's, all, it's always good to see you know, stocks like Robinhood up 24%, Apple's booming, DraftKings, uh, Redfin, Teladoc, AI. It's, it's a pretty good market. And we are set for uh, a pretty volatile end of the week given the price action we saw so far. It's crazy to think that it's only Tuesday 
and we're seeing this crazy movement and we have a lot of important events left for the rest of the week. Like I said, we have that PCE data coming out, a couple big earnings, and then of course the unemployment rate. So we're set for an interesting rest of the week. If you guys are new here and you liked today's video, please consider subscribing. I post brand new videos every single day. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching.